Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be making a tagine using cauliflower and beef and preserved lemons. So stay tuned because this recipe is very, very easy. I will leave the list of all the ingredients at the description box down below. I love this recipe because there aren't many ways to use cauliflower and uh, cook it so it saves its shape and it doesn't get all mushy except if you're roasting it in the oven or you're barbecuing it but uh, using the tagine it preserves the shape of the cauliflower and it stays intact that's why I love it I am using preserved lemons in this recipe but if you don't have them you can always use just regular lemons All right then, let's do some cooking. So in a tagine dish, heat about two tablespoons of uh, olive oil over low to medium heat until the oil glistens. And then add the chopped onions, the beef and the spices. Then let it saute for about 10 minutes covered until the beef browns. After 10 minutes, the beef has browned. Now I will add the cauliflower and the potatoes. At this step, you can proceed to add in some salt. Just uh, be careful about the salt, because uh, if you're using preserved lemons, because they already contain a lot of salt.
After I arranged the cauliflowers and the potatoes in the tagine, now I will sprinkle some um, paprika and uh, black pepper, salt, and drizzle some olive oil on the top. I cut the quarter of preserved lemon in halves, but not all the way through. Then I nicely placed it on top of the vegetables. You will notice there is no water in the tagine uh, because uh, the it's going to cook on very low and all the vegetables, they will release lots of liquid. And uh, if you know, uh, the tagine has to be dry and the sauce is very thick, so it can't be very liquidy. That's why we don't use water uh, when uh, we're cooking in a tagine. Just make sure that the heat is on very low so it doesn't burn. So I will be using tin foil at the beginning of the cooking process until all the vegetables lose their liquid and then they will fall. I will remove the tin foil and uh, just use the lid by itself. As you can see, I was able to close the lid after the vegetables lost their volume or their mass. And uh, here's our tagine after one hour and a half on uh, uh, low cooking. And it smells so good. The vegetables are cooked and the meat is cooked as well. So uh, I will just sprinkle some dry parsley on top and then present it with some sourdough country bread and bon appetit. Please, if you liked the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and then subscribe and share with your friends. And please leave me your comments. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.